the sea of bills? Then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. And now, let's meet today's contestant. I'm Sybil, and I'm in debt because I have one big mortgage and two little kids. I'm Joe, and I'm in debt because I just started my own graphic art business. I'm Natanya, and I'm in debt because it's expensive to break into showbiz. And now, starting at host, the Crown Prince of Credit, the Duke of Debt, Wayne Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. And welcome to our show. You know, the country's in debt, you're probably in debt, but most importantly, our three players, Sybil, Joe, and Natanya, have come to us with their real-life debt. And one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of this show. So let's get this party started, shall we? Our first round is general debt. Here are today's categories. Jacksons who aren't crazy. Stuff you find in a trailer park. Second-hand bands. Big Earls don't cry. And finally, I've got your itch right here. <laughs> this is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least dead at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Nothing! You've watched before, haven't you? Natanya, since you have spent less than your opponents in the game of life, you get the honor of selecting our first category. But to make things fair, we're going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. Your average debt is 8,167 bucks. Two final reminders, all the questions on debt take the I am you are format and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. Natanya, select our first category, please. Uh, I'd like Jacksons who aren't crazy for minus 150, please. All righty. I was so famous for hitting three home runs in a 77 World Series game, they named a candy bar after me. Sybil. You are Hank Aaron? No, Hank? I'm sorry. Joe, you are Reggie Jackson. Reggie right? Jackson, yes. All right, Joe. All right, let's go for Big Girls Don't Cry for minus 200 wins. Here's your question. I, I, I'm the hit, hit, hit that Gene Chandler took to the top of the charts in 1962. Joe. You are the Duke of Earl? Duke, 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 Duke of Earl, Earl, Earl. Remember that. Let's take uh, Big Girls Don't Cry for minus 250, Wayne. Love that category. If you cast me, I will come to play the character Kevin Costner kidnapped in the film Field of Dreams. Joe. Up to Jones? Yes, James Earl Jones. <sighs> who probably has the voice of God. All right, Joe. All right. Let's take uh, Big Girls Don't Cry minus 150, Wayne. Here's the question. I'm the guy who used to paint any car for 99.95. And more often than not, any windshield tire or bumper. Natanya. You're Earl Shy. Remember but... how he used to talk? I will paint any car for $99.95. All right, good. Okay, Wink. I'd like uh, stuff you find in a trailer park for minus 100, please. Okay. I'm the extraterrestrial three-letter acronym for probing space saucers that allegedly land in trailer parks across America. Natanya. You are a UFO, Wink. You got it for $100 yeah. off your debt. Six. I'd like second-hand bands, please, for minus 150, Wink. First time in that category. And you our designator. The most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers, and because of that, it's worth $500 for whoever gets it right. Very important, 500 bucks value. Featuring Ricky Bell and Michael Bivens, I'm the R&B knockoff group that poisoned the memory of New Edition. Natanya. You are boys to men, Wink. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Sybil. Um, you are BVD. Is that acceptable? Yes, it is. Be be Belle B. DeVoe. Very good, Sybil. $500 okay. off your debt. I'll take, um, Steph, you find in a trailer park for minus 50, please, wait. Okay, try this one, players. To help your RV's TV reception, I'm the 18-inch product you need to receive direct TV, and I'm a nickname for Prince Charles's ears. Sybil. Satellite dish? You now, that, satellite that wasn't dish. very nice. Yes, you're right, but not too good for Prince Charles's ears. Okay, I'll take Jacksons who aren't crazy for minus 100 wink. Okay, and here's your question. I'm the Jackson who discussed the virtues of Le Big Mac and Le Royale with cheese with John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. 
Natanya. You are Samuel L. Jackson. You have it for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Select. I'd like Jackson if you aren't crazy for minus two hundred, please. Here's your question, players. Listen carefully. I'm the president they called Old Hickory, whose face is on the bill you're most often looking at when you withdraw from an ATM. Joe. You are Andrew. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, I got your itch right here for one fifty, Wink. Interesting category. According to the coasters, I'm the pink anti-itch lotion you're going to need an ocean of in their song Poison Ivy. Natanya. Your calamine lotion. You're good. Wait. You're good at this. Yes, $150 of value on that. Second hand bands, please, for minus 200. Here's your question. Players with our one hit Sea of Love, I'm the sweet sounding band that Led Zeppelin's singer degenerated into. Joe. You are the honey drippers. Wait. You got it worth $200. Less than two minutes remaining in general debt. I got your itch right here for minus 100, Wink. I'm the medicated powder and itch cream company that sounds like a 14-carat version of Agent 007. Joe, you are gold bond, Wink. You got it, yeah. <laughs> Let's take secondhand bands for minus 100, Wink. Secondhand bands, the question. Formed by the Genesis dude named Mike, I'm the group whose all I need is a miracle sounds better in a noisy auto shop. Natanya. So you are Mike and the Mechanics. Yes. Wait. Take $100 yes. off her debt. I would like second hand band for minus 250, please. Mixing the dregs of Duran Duran with that addicted to love dude, I'm the powerful group that revived T Rex's Bang a Gong, Get It On. Natanya. You are the power station. Yes, wait. for another $250. I would like uh, Jackson Swarm Crazy for minus 50, please. Question. I'm the Nike guy who knew baseball, knew football, and then knew hip replacement surgery in 1992. Sybil. Um, you are... Time's up, Joe or Natanya. You're Bo Jackson, Yes, Wink. Bo Jackson. Right. Select. I'd like Jackson to are crazy, please, to, or uh, minus 250. Okay, completing that category, yeah. I'm the lady who uses Allie McGraw to help hawk my infomercial makeup products, and I share my name with a Saturday Night Live comedian. Everything got quiet all of a sudden. Victoria Jackson. Select again, Natanya. Secondhand band for minus 50, please. To complete that category, I'm the band on the run band that flapped its way up the charts several times, but frankly, we were no Beatles. Joe, you are Wings. Yes, Wings. Paul McCartney and Wings. Let's take uh, Big Earl's Don't Cry minus 100, Wings. Question, I'm the nickname of basketball's Earl Monroe and the title of a John Steinbeck book. Joe, you are the Pearl. Yes, for $100. I got your inch right here for minus 200 wink. The question, I'm the spray that asks athletes, foot sufferers to step up to the mic. Joe, you are Mike at Tinway. Yes, $200 that time. That's the end of general debt. And I'm sorry to say that you, Sybil, have the highest score. And unfortunately, in our game, that means you are eliminated. But you are not going home empty-handed. Julie, what do we have for Sybil, please? Well, Sybil, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. That goes the bill. We'll be back to see Joe and Natanya battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this.